Hey there, I'm Paul Galliano. I'm here with... I'm Brendan Bradley, a strike captain on the front line at Paramount. He's an actor. We're going to work this picket line, and then we're going to sit down for a chat over a cup of solidarity. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Every actor gets their start in different ways. Sure. When I first moved here, I was doing background acting, and I know that that's what you did as well. Yeah. I'm happy to see so much solidarity uh, from background performers as well on this because in my discussions with them, I feel like they are being seen and represented well this time where sometime in, sometimes in the past they do not feel that way. So the background actors are being represented in this discussion where, you know, like no scanning and then paying $150 right. for the day for use of your likeness and right. perpetuity. Right. Like, that's insane. So what words of inspiration do you have for anyone out there getting a start or who's getting into background work? You started there too, Absolutely. I did too, and yeah. look at the credits you've built sure. now. Well, I, I think that it's always been an entry point for our industry. You can walk onto a Hollywood set and you can watch stars do their work and crew do their work and learn in a lower stress environment and be paid yeah. to do that. So I got my start as a background actor, got my five waivers to be able to join. I then was a stand-in actor for a long time. I did some stunts slowly got you know that first co-star that first guest star kind yeah. of built, built my a lot of indie film a lot of student film uh and built my way up we and do it all we do it all that's what and, and we return to it it doesn't it's not checking a box yeah. you're not then done with independent yeah. film yeah you're t i mean we have major actors that then return to indie film throughout their career to explore new parts of their craft and i've returned to i've been about background actor in friends projects i've held a boom in friends projects uh, you know we help each other out artistically and holistically but I think what's remarkable, what we're feeling in this strike, and even leading up to this strike, is a new generation of performer, of community, of solidarity, mm -hmm. um, and even un union literacy. And I know that in the past, we unfortunately had leadership that believed we needed to really pick like four core issues that we were going to take in a negotiation. But we didn't want to come with too many things because we it was going to be very hard to negotiate. And so we, we didn't want to make our list too long. And in this negotiation, what I'm so proud of our negotiating committee for doing is showing up with a laundry list from not just background actors, for example, but also dancers, singers, stunt performers. We're pushing for motion capture work to be treated as qualifying work. As it should. As it should. And so nothing was left unsaid or untouched in our plenary this time, in our W&Ws. And we really went in with a full list of everything that hasn't kept pace for a 2023 contract. And I'm so proud of our leadership and our negotiating committee. Now, we're not going to win all those battles. We are, that's part of negotiation. Yep. Some of those things aren't going to get met in this contract cycle. But the fact that we're even having them in the dialogue, talking about them in the room, I think demonstrates to all of our members, you're a part of this union, you're valued, and you are a part of the conversation and consideration when we are building the future of this industry. 100%. And so thank you to Fran, Duncan, all the negotiating committee. Thank you guys for going to bat for us on these issues. They're super important. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, thank Brennan. You. Um, everybody, I'm going to put some links in the description where you can keep up with Brennan and see everything he's got going on. Be sure to check him out. Great guy doing a lot of good work out here. Thank and you. come join us out here. <laughs> we have um, Arnold Palmer. <laughs>